It's important to measure the effectiveness of your website so you get an idea of how well your website is performing and how effective your marketing is. Shopify has an analytics tool which gives you a range of metrics which you can use to measure the performance of your website over time. These can be accessed from analytics in the left hand menu. It's divided into three parts, dashboards, reports and live view. Dashboards gives you a snapshot of the most important metrics from your site. Reports gives you more in-depth reports where you can see performance over time. A live view gives a picture of the website at this very moment in time or in the previous day or previous few minutes depending on the report. Before we go into report we need to look at some definitions. The three most important metrics used on Shopify are sales, sessions and conversions. Sales is a measure of your total sales. It can either be by sales channel or for each sales channel. It includes your product sales, any shipping, tax, but it will not include discounts and returns. A session is a continuous period of customer activity on your site. It is a measure of the site's popularity and also a measure of your, the success of your marketing activities. A session ends after 30 minutes of inactivity. This means that one user can have ses several sessions on a website in a day and they will be measured as different sessions. Finally, the conversion rate is the total number of purchases divided by the total number of sessions on a Shopify store. So if you have a thousand sessions on your store and a hundred of them lead to sales, that will mean that your conversion rate is 10%. Now returning to Shopify, let's look at the dashboard. The dashboard shows a range of key metrics over a period which you select here in the top left hand corner. You can select a date range or just a date and you can compare to previous dates. So you can compare to the previous period or the previous year. Let's look at the whole of October, so let's select from the 1st to the 27th of October and apply. Over here in the total sales sheet you'll see the sales over time and it'll give you a little graph. You can hover over to see details. It'll show you sales by different channels, so here we've got the online store and any draft orders. Second along we'll see store sessions, so if you recall a session is a period of user activity on the site. Here it'll show you how much it's up over the period and also give you sessions over time. Returning customer rate gives you the percentage of customers that return over time. So if you have 100 customers on your site and 10 of them previously visited the site over a previous period then your return rate will be 10%. It's obviously cheaper to sell to an existing customer than it is to acquire a new customer. You may for example have been buying advertising on Facebook or Google. The conversion rate is shown here and it, we have three different conversion rates here. First is the percentage of sessions that added to cart, second is the percentage that reached the checkout and the third is the sessions that converted. You obviously want these figures to be as similar as possible, they are, though you will get less converted customers than added to cart. If your site converts at a higher rate then you will get more money out of your advertising so it is best to try and tweak your design to improve your conversion rates. The average order value is the number of orders divided by the number of customers. This graph here will show the order value over time. Higher order values mean that you are getting more revenue from each customer. Higher order values mean you will need to drive less customers to your site in order to get the same amount of revenue. This report here shows the total orders over time. This report shows top products by units sold, so here's the name of the product and the units. This section here shows online sessions by location, so that will give you an idea of what part of the world people are, are coming from. You can click through to view a report here. Device type will show you what percentage of your visitors come from what kind of device. So here we've got desktop and mobile, and you can click to see a more detailed report. Traffic source, this will show you where your traffic comes from. So it might, for example, come directly, or from social media, or from Google search, or from advertisers you place, and you can see the number of sessions you get from each source here. And here is sales by traffic source. So you can see here that we only got sales from the direct, so that means we didn't get any sales from other sources. Sales attributed to marketing gives you the number of sales from your different marketing activities. Here we've got sales by social source, so that could be for example Facebook or Twitter etc. And top refers by session, this will give you the sites that refer traffic to your site. So here we have Beidou and something called Modes and Box which has been driving traffic to this store. If you require more detail, go to the Reports tab. Reports are divided into five sections. Acquisition, Behaviour, Finances, Marketing and Inventory. Acquisition gives a measure of where your visitors are coming from. There are th three different reports. Sessions over time, by referrer and by location. If we click on one report, here we can edit the time period or set a custom date range. 
And here we see the sessions over that time period. Or we, down here we have a table which shows the same details. Behaviour shows how your visitors move through the site. By looking at this information, you can improve the performance of your site by tweaking the design or tweaking the product, pages, etc. There's a number of very useful reports here. Store conversion over time shows how your conversion rate has improved over time in terms of a percentage. So here we can see the percentage by day. And down here we can also see the sessions, number added to cart, reach checkout and conversions. So it gives you the so-called funnel of your customers going through the site. Top store searches shows you the searches that people have used on the store, the most popular ones. Top store searches with no results show the times that people did a search on your store but did found no results. So you could perhaps add those keywords to your product so the customers are not disappointed. Sessions by landing page shows the number of sessions on the site when the customers came by a certain page. So that will show you the content of your site which helps people find the site the best. Sessions by device shows the number of sessions when people are using a particular device. Online store speed is a measure of how quick your speed is compared to other Shopify stores. It uses something the, called the Google Lighthouse performance metrics and you can see here the speed over time. Finances shows your store's financial performance including sales, returns, taxes and payments. There are two types of reports in finance. There's the finances summary which shows a summary of your financial performance and you can also download records of the total sales, taxes, tips and payments. So for example in total sales you'll see the total sales listed one by one by day. Each of these reports can be downloaded if you want to upload them for example into your accounting system. So let's look at financial summary. Here it's got the sales, so you've got the gross sales, that is the total sales on the store, any discounts, any deductions from returns, and the net sales is going to be the gross sales minus the discounts and returns, and then you have the shipping and taxes, and then you have the total sales at the bottom. If you've sold any gift cards, they'll be shown as a liability here, and then you have the payments that you've taken, and that's, if that's a manual payment, so that's if, for example, if you just marked an item as paid, and then Shopify payments there, you could also have other payments you've taken, for example, PayPal or Amazon. Gross profits looks at the net sales, then minus the cost of goods sold, which gives you then the gross profit down here. So that's the profit after your, your cost of sales, but before things like any payment fees you, you pay. If we look at total sales, total sales gives us a list of all the sales that have been made. So it gives us the dates, the order number, the products, etc. If we look at payments, this basically gives us a list of the payments that have been made on the store and those can be downloaded like the other reports. If you want to export the reports then there's an option here at the right for export and you can also print it. If we click export then we have the option to do a full report or a current page and it will be downloaded as a CSV. The inventory section shows the performance of your inventory in Shopify. Percent of inventory sold will show the percentage of inventory which is sold over a particular period. Average inventory sold per day will show the average number of items by product which are sold per day. The month end inventory snapshot will tell you what you have at the end of each month. And the month end inventory value will take the quantity you have and the cost price you have in the system and tell you what the value was. So if we look at percentage of inventory sold, here we have the product and it shows us the quantity sold and the quantity, the starting quantity and the percentage sold and you could look at that over a particular date range. Similarly with average inventory sold per day we've got the name of the product and it has on a particular time period you can show the quantity sold, the ending quantity and the average quantity sold per day. The marketing report gives insights into where customers are coming from this will show the sessions attributed to each kind of marketing you're doing. So for example, you would see here, you would have email campaign or any, if you integrated any apps, you would see the details from the marketing pages run from them. Finally, in the live view, we can see the performance of this site at a particular time. So we have this big globe here that shows you in the last day where your orders have come from. You can, you can see where the orders are and also the sessions. Visitors right now shows the number of sessions in the last five minutes. Total sessions shows the number of sessions so far today. Page views shows the number of page views in the last 10 minutes. Customer behavior shows in the last 10 minutes what the behavior is. So for example, well, shows the number of active cards you have, the number of checked out and the number of items purchased. Total sales is total sales from all channels so far today. And total orders is the number of orders from all sales channels so far today. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website which is vendlab.com slash blog.